Sometimes you encounter some difficult problems to solve related with processes or files. In this video I'm going to show you how I approach these problems. Ok, let's have a look. The first problem I would like to address is the case when a software you start a program and this program is going to start another one. You want to know which program has been started, but the problem is that this program has uh, lived for a very short time. So I'm going to start going to start an example here. I'm going just to define a, a test script, which I already have here. In this test script, I run bash, and here I just test the, the waters, so I call ls, and then I send uh, the results to slash dev slash now. So this means that by the time I reach the echo line, this process is gone already. Okay, so if I try to run this uh, program, okay, it says done. How can I know that ls has been running? Well, that's a difficult problem. Let's have a look at, at how we can do this. For this, I'm going to use the technology call, uh, from FreeBSD called Dtrace. Dtrace requires root privileges. And what I'm going to do is I have a directory here called utilities and I prepared already a file called execution. Here, um, I look at the, uh, the exec execution success of processes. Uh, and I just print a single line. I print the probe function name, I print the timestamp if you want to process logs afterwards. I print the program name, this is argument zero, the process ID and the process ID of the parent process. And here is the arguments with which the program has been started. So we run this exec. And here we can see that currently nothing is happening, but let's go here, we run the test and we go back. Let's have a look. So the, this script shows that test has been called, it has been executed with uh, bin bash and, uh, <clears throat> and this process itself has run an ls command. So here I can uh, immediately see that uh, ls has been run. Actually, this is uh, looking at all the processes that are starting in the system. So if I decide to start an x term, well, I can also see which uh, processes are starting. And you can see here that there, uh, this is doing quite a lot of different things in my system. So it's really interesting to navigate uh, through dtrace and to learn how the system is working. So the other problem I would like to address is how can I know which files a certain software is opening a certain process? So let's go back here. I'm running the simple screen, screen recorder so I can just grab for simple and you can see simple screen recorder is running with PID 55273. Uh, in order to know which files this process is opening, we have a command called ls open files, and we can just pipe it into less. Let's uh, increase here. So, and with forward slash, we can just search for the number 55273. And here we can easily see which files are currently this process is uh, opening. We see is uh, the simple screen recorder, a short name here, the user etc and we can see all the we can see the uh, the files that are um, being opened by this process instead of doing less we can also do ls of and we can just grab for the process name so let's get rid of this a little bit and here we can also see the same information this is possible to know because uh, the screen uh, recorder is, uh, is a long running program. What happens if the software is running for short time, like uh, in the example I had before? Can I still know it? That's a difficult problem. For that, 
again we can use the deep trace technology and here I show you a, um, a small script which is called uh, files. Here we can uh, look at the open syscall on the entry or at the open add. Similar to the execution I print the probe function name, the timestamp, the name of the executable, the PID, the, pro the parent process ID and also uh, the file that has been opened. The difference between open and open apt is that uh, for one we need argument 0, for the other one we need argument 1. Let's run the script, files, and here we can see uh, in soon uh, which files the system is uh, going to open. There we go. So IceWM, my window manager, is using the is opening the ACPI. And there are a couple more things happening in the system. If we run again the same experiment, the experiment with the test, done. Here we can see that lots of things have happened in between. Coming from Bash, we could also see that the file test.sh has been opened and we can also see that slash dev slash null has also been opened. Furthermore, we can see that uh, the test sh, which is the, this is the process ID and here is the parent. So this means that the slash dev slash null has been opened by uh, test.sh. What if we would like to get more information, for example, what is the current working directory that the, some program has been started uh, with? For that we can use a command called pw, pwdx, so pwdx and we get the PID. Here we can see the simple screen recorder has been started under my home directory. If we want to check the environment variables under which this program has been started, we can also use pnv with a PID. And here we can see the environment variables under which this program has been started. There is a, a, another way to do this. This is with procstat. So uh, get detailed process information. And here we have an example procstat-f with the PID, we get very similar information to the LSOF with the pipe grep that I've shown before. So now let's imagine that I have the following problem. As you can see in my desktop, there is an image in the background which is started automatically by ISWM when the, uh, the window manager starts. I would like to know what is the name of this image. Where is this image stored? Here I start the terminal. Again, I switch to, use, uh, to root because the trace needs to uh, run under root. I go to the utilities and in this case I run, I have my two scripts and I want to run both scripts in parallel. So um, Q and I run this script here and I run this script here. For the time being I'm also going to pipe it into T and say log.txt. So everything is running fine now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another window and I'm going to see, uh, reset the window manager. IceWM and dash R for reset. You're going to see some flickering. There it is. And we stop the recording and let's have a look at the log. I can see that there is some SVG file that has been opened. This is almost doing a forensic analysis on the computer. We can see there was some uh, true type font that has been opened. And here I can see one line that looks uh, interesting to me. So there is some pictures 
here and back one. So let's try to open the terminal. Uh, not here because this is root. So documents, pictures, back one. We use our uh, image viewer. Documents, pictures, back one, JPEG. And lo and behold, this looks very familiar to the back, uh, to the background, to the des desktop picture, wouldn't, wouldn't you say? That's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, use the space below. Otherwise, have a nice day. Bye bye.